got the part seven of the bicycle build and uh, in this chapter we're just uh, welding it up uh, the frame was pretty straight you know, as I mentioned in the previous video with the tacks it was a little a little off and I wanted to pull it uh, uh, basically to the right just a little so um, that's I started to do the welds there on the you know down to the bottom bracket there on the right side just that it you know normally when you weld something like that as it cools down it'll pull it over to that side just slightly and, uh, and that's actually what happened and it worked out uh, really well in the end so we'll get to that part here in a bit but um, yeah there's a few little observations I have along the way and you know one I've seen quite a few people that put the frame, you know, once they get it tacked up, they'll put the frame in a park stand and kind of weld it like I'm doing here, um, which it's, yeah, I don't know, I think it might work well if you had the, a complete frame together, but just me personally, it didn't, I never really got super comfortable with it, um, this welding it in this manner, so I kind of just went back and ended up, felt a little easier, more comfortable to me, just welding it up on my table, and, um, you know, it's just one little, one little thing I noticed. Not a huge deal. I'm actually, I'm sure I'll experiment with it this way in that stand. I think I might tweak the height there a little bit, but um, yeah, just had switched out my tungsten there, so I was just cleaning it on the little copper piece there. So, um, but you know, now I'm doing the C tube to top tube junction there on the on the right side to you know kind of match mimic down at the bottom you know I don't know if this is necessarily a just seemed to work out you know it seemed to make sense to me to you know do it like this so basically you know I just kind of jumped around you know a little you know basically where the frame wasn't hot and you know just kind of circled around after I had my few my first couple you know runs there and it definitely got easier to you know definitely felt like I got into more of a groove or kind of had a better flow going with it as I went along and you know one one little tip is you know before you get doing something like this if you're just gonna you know somebody just starting out on one of these um, it's, you know nice to sharpen up eight to ten tungstens and have them ready to go and um, you know there's I touched quite a few times you know in this video is edited you know where there's not a lot of mistakes or a lot of downtime of clipping the tips of the filler rod off or you know switching out tungstens and repositioning things and stuff like that which definitely took the majority of the time but, um yeah so it it uh the bottom bracket here it seemed i don't know why but it seemed really kind of dirty just the welds there and you know really probably the worst looking on the whole frame but I'd say otherwise it's definitely okay it's not great but it you know I think everything that's got good good penetration and it's not you know super hot on the other extreme end it's just not the soup you know not the prettiest welds there's some that are definitely I'm um, pretty you know I'm um, definitely okay with but you know it's first one definitely a lot of room for improvement but um yeah, it's uh, coming together, and um, you know, pretty stoked. Just uh, got to, you know, get kind of still planning out how I'm going to do the the back end there. But um, yeah, then I, you know, another little tip. I use my clamps, you know, a longer clamp to kind of hold the frame. You know, put a little spring clamp on top of that, and that seemed to work out real well. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just checking for straightness now. All right, so got the frame welded up, and pretty happy with the, uh, you know, the this kind of my ghetto alignment table. But um, you know, basically measured, you know, off of the, you know, the edge there, and when, after the initial tack up, it was. Uh, pretty close it was a little off so I started welding um, I think it was yeah, 
I mean, it's maybe a millimeter off, so it's, that's, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. It, I don't know, I don't really know how I could get it too much straighter. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, I mean, the bottom bracket down there, I mean, these welds are not great, you know, not horrible, but I'm, I'm okay with it all, I guess. Definitely the, the seat tube here, you know, because you got your, this part's, you know, it's a little thicker, externally butted, so it, you know, took a little while to get that here. Yeah, otherwise, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it overall. So, um, you know, I guess the next step's going to be to miter up the, uh, figure out how I'm going to miter up the, the, uh, chain stays and get those welded up to the dropouts and kind of go from here. So, yeah, it's going to be it for this period, this is chapter seven. So, thanks for watching.